One of the fun parts of high school theater is seeing the unique spin that students can put on shows that have been around for decades. In today's weekend showcase, we take you to Cooper High School for a production of The Wiz like you've never seen before. at Cooper High School are back on stage, ready to show you there's no place like home. I'm really looking forward to just putting a smile on people's faces, you know, it's telling a really big story that I think is really important for people to, like, just for them to get to know. It's a show of someone who's lost trying to find their way home, but making a bunch of friends as they find their way home. Tin Man! Yes, honey? Students are putting their own spin on The Wiz, which is a soulful adaptation of The Wizard of Oz. We're having it go through different types of video games, which I think it's more relatable to what it is now. In like the first scene, I'm actually holding my little tablet and it has Mario on it. It's basically foreshadowing that, you know, I'm going into this Mario world and I'm like, whoa, I've seen it before, but at the same time, it's something new to me. Aside from the games, <laughs> The show is fun. It's fun being the lion, being a coward and trying to be scary, but really I am a coward, so it's pretty fun. Zavante Scott says actors feel honored to be a part of a show that broke barriers, but also because it's a great show for actors to stretch their skills. If you want to mess with me, I'll knock your senses and stuff like that. So if you hear the southern accent, it's like that. Whoa! I would jump off different types of heights and maybe do little Russian kicks. I would roll on my back, lots of somersaults and all that. My center of gravity is all over the place. I can't fully bend down and do all of that. There are five performances of The Wiz scheduled in March. Students say you'll appreciate the story, the music, and the soul of the show. Not only is it one of those tales that kind of everybody knows, but it's also more of a people of color representation. For Weekend Showcase, Shannon Slatten, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.